Hey guys, Gamma 3 is here and it's a game changer in the AI world. With over 100 million downloads and a community that's created more than 60,000 variants, Gamma has already made a huge impact. Now with Gamma 3, you can run powerful AI models right on your devices, whether it's a workstation, a laptop or even a smartphone. Now Gamma 3 comes in various sizes from 1 billion to 27 billion parameters giving you the flexibility to choose the perfect model for your project. Plus, it supports over 140 languages and can handle text, images and videos. Imagine the possibility for interactive and intelligent experiences. And with the increased context window of 128k tokens, Gamma 3 can process vast amounts of information, leading to more coherent and insightful responses. You can fine-tune it to your specific needs video coming soon and deploy it on popular frameworks like Transformers, Jax, Keras, Olama and more. Ready to try it out? Try Gamma today through the Google AI Studio or the Google Gen AI SDK or use it directly on platforms like Kaggle, Vertex AI and other providers such as Hugging Face. Now you can even download and run it locally on your own computer, which is what we're going today. We're going to download Gamma 3 the 4 billion model on your laptop using Olama and use it to create an OCR app on Streamlit since Gamma 3 has multimodal capabilities handling text images and videos. So let's try out the images. We're going to design an OCR app in which we are going to put in images and it's going to spit out what it's written on the image so we are going to code heck we are going to vibe code using using cursor no vibe code that's a fan fancy way to say i know coding let's go ahead let's paste in this prompt so design a streamlit ocr application leveraging the multimodal capabilities of gamma 3 4 billion ultimately we want to handle image uploads that is done by the user process them via the olama api and display structured text outputs in a user-friendly manner let's go and go you can see that it right away starts generating we accept everything it starts generating the requirements start generating the app itself and you can just deploy this app saying streamlit run app.py but before that, we need to make an environment. So quickly, let's create an environment. Conda create. Give it the name of the environment. Python 310-Y. And uh, activate that environment. Install the requirements now. And run this. We can see that it goes ahead and opens up in this local environment here, in this local host here. So local host, we can now upload and let's observe the outputs. Mm -hmm. 